how to paint watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Hello, welcome back to Painting Watercolours with me, Colin. I'll give you a quick run round of the suggested colour palettes. You can use your own colours by all means, I do encourage it. We have raw sienna, naples yellow, cobalt blue, ultramarine violet, burnt umber, cobalt green, neutral tint and brown madder. And with that, we'll get started. I've dried the sails off, even though they are going to be a darker colour, but I do like to keep things clean. I've just added water around the areas that I want to run. So this is Naples yellow. I stretched the paper. This is 140 pound Buckingford extra rough paper. And I'll leave a thin film of water on the paper just to use it as a vehicle to move the paint around. And it keeps it wet longer. Bring it through this sail. So it looks like there's a continuation. drop some raw sienna uh, just for variation into this Naples yellow I'm going to take some of the cobalt blue then into that I'm just going to add a, some neutral tint just to grey it check it yeah that'll do in between the sail on the top here very easy to miss don't work it into the yellow you will end up with green touch more but right now I'm going to bring this into the sea don't mind if it turns green a bit here I'll take some of the cobalt green as well I'm just going to drop this in just to create some splash of colour it looks like a splash of colour just helps draw your eye in bring the colours together and straight into the top of that I want some ultramarine violet all these colours will play nice together so again just bring it a little into the sea don't want to cover all the blue up violet in there again with a neutral tint just to create some darker patches just dance the brush in once again just bringing some into the sea to get the initial washes on then I'm just going to take a, a piece of kitchen towel just where the dark patch is on, on the top I'm just gently rolling it through and I'm not pressing just creating some interesting effects in the sky I'm going to take some clean water just in areas I'm just going to drop some in then allow this to push some of the colour about I'm going to leave that to dry. Now that's dry. I think you'll notice that's a lovely sky and it has dried an awful lot lighter than when it was put on. So I'm just dropping in some brown madder with a little bit of neutral tint. And I'm going to just put the sails in here, starting with the top one. I just want this to be reasonably clear. Take some more neutral tint and just pop it in a the corner there so we don't contaminate it all and then we can bring some darker little shadows in that's just the front of the sail the back is, is here but we'll put that in after I'm basically just putting the corners in with this detail brush to a bigger brush put 
a little bit of shadow colouring. Just going to take a damp brush because it is slightly lighter on this outside edge so I'm going to remove a little bit of paint with a damp brush and then we will allow it to creep back on its own and you should get a, a feathering effect makes it lighter a little bit on here this is just the same colors again that's the brown matter with a bit more dark and neutral tint in it once again just lifting a little bit out of that edge a little bit of water on this one because I don't want it to dry out too fast There's a lot of bits and pieces on this boat here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in after with a, a few strokes and just make it basically nondescript. You'll see what I mean when I do it. But no matter, neutral tint. Yeah, that's about the same colour. too wet to put some shading on at the moment but we'll mix the colour up. We'll have to let that dry a moment or two. I've just put the shadow colour on which is from here onto the back side of this sail and I'm just dropping some straightforward brown matter in just for some variation. I'm going to take some of the cobalt blue and I'm going to put that in there. Dull it down. This is a very simple way of painting some waves. Some of the violets in neutral tints as well. Pulling it out here. Just taking a damp brush and just softening the edge of this out just leaving some white and darker bits very simply done we're going to leave that to dry now that's dry, I just put the, the mask in with a mixture of burnt umber and raw sienna. You didn't miss anything with that really, it just was a bit fiddly. And I'm just dropping some burnt umber into this colour here, making it a bit nondescript. And I'm going to fill the rest of the boat in. Just picked out one or two dark areas with the brush. Not depicting anything, it's just... Stuff in the boat that can't actually tell what it is to be honest. Can somebody dark just dropping some colour in just to fill the boat in. Some sailors in with some raw sienna. Your eye will fill all this in. Take some of the blue once again and I drop it in here, really darken it with the neutral tint just to come across and just drop some more into the water. It's just dark and light patches. And then 
just gently washing the edges off, softening it in. Then I'm going to let that dry. Now that's dry. I just restated the rigging with the pencil and a ruler. It can take a bit of time, it can be a bit fiddly. So that was done off camera. If you want to put the rigging in, you can just copy it really. It's as close as I can get it to it. I'm just putting some cobalt blue along the bolts, along this edge here. sliver of light along the edge and I want to take some of that cobalt blue neutral scent I'm just going to allow this to mix with it Take some paint out on the prow here, just where it's catching the light. Just to give it a little bit of a different flavour. Dark on the back. And all I want to do to that, we'll put some directional. I'm going to take some white paint, with yellow mission gold. I'm going to put some crests on the waves on, and the yellow mission gold paint really works well for this kind of thing. And the actual white of this paint is brighter than the white of the paper, which is interesting. Let's pull these down a bit. some of the green to show through. Just drag the brush along the horizon line just to create a little sparkle. I don't want to pull this too far. in the boat just to pick out one or two edges give it a highlight make it nondescript so you know how sometimes the the deck can be look cluttered and you can't pick things out a couple of seagulls I think Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click the like button and subscribe. Subscribing is free. If you've enjoyed this as well, please leave a comment. All comments are welcome. I'll leave a few suggestions for other videos at the end of this demonstration. This is where you get to sign it, put a mount around it and frame it. And I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.